Uh, welcome to our um, artist talk. And just first, I would like to introduce uh, Dr. Monica Melling from London. Maybe you can. I can introduce myself. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you for coming today. Um, my name is Monica Merlin, as uh, she just said, and I'm a researcher at um, uh, the Tate Research Center Asia Pacific, which was opened about one and a half years ago, and is a research center within Tate um, dedicated to the research uh, of uh, Asian and Pacific art. Um, and I'm currently uh, conducting a research on uh, uh, Chinese contemporary art. And my chosen topic is um, uh, women artists in mainland China. And this is when I get to, um, or I got to, to know about the bold girls and, and, um, and their activity and their artistic practice. So uh, we thought that um, it would be nice to have a quite um, informal setting where we discuss a few, um, a few topics that are related to the bold girls' um, art and practice, and especially um, their exhibition on at the moment at the Island Museum in, in Bonn, um, who, uh, which I'm, I'm sure that some of you, uh, as I recognize uh, some of your faces, uh, were there yesterday at the opening. Uh, but anyway, it will run um, until at the foreign museum? Uh, until the uh, uh, 11th? Uh, <coughs> yeah, so uh, there's a, uh, a long time still to go to visit the exhibition of single moms uh, where the bold girls have a special uh, exhibition uh, titled Time Lag mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be talking about it as well in a minute. Um, so um, I can. Um, there will be a moment in which all of you can ask questions uh, if you want to, uh, but I will start uh, to ask a few questions uh, to Sujet, the curator of the Volkers, and to the artists in relation to their artistic practice and the pieces that they, or the performances that they um, have exhibited at the Freyne Museum. Um, so, maybe we start to visit it. Exactly. First we, <laughs> first we have a look at the art and yeah. then we talk about yeah. it. <laughs> is the light, the light okay? Uh, is it okay with them? Uh, Can you see yeah. it? Is okay? Yeah. Okay. So this is the uh, performance by um, Ginny Lam.
gonna now see uh, a performance by uh, Lee Simon, who is uh, uh, one of the other uh, three artists who were represented um, in the single month exhibition. Um, she's approaching some um, some of the members of the audience and asking them whether they want to kill her and she's proposing to them um, a blade uh, to do that and um, um, all of them seem to have said no but um, she was then replying then I'll do it myself
I met Shujinla <laughs> by chance, and uh, she's a great artist, and uh, we just discuss a lot about uh, women and uh, women rights and. Uh, the conservative thinking way of Chinese, still Chinese, especially by women. So, um, and she has a lot of her idea, and she thought, oh, well, I just cannot believe there are so many Chinese women that are still thinking like um, people of hundreds of years ago, and so I think we have to do something. Well, I think we have changed a lot in China because we have uh, I don't know, 16, uh, 60 years of socialism and the women is called, they are called, uh, they hate and they uh, half uh, heaven of uh, the world. So um, we just find out, just figure out uh, this is not true, the Chinese women um, still not, they have half their feeling. <laughs> well, so, and I, I will not go to the details, and so um, we want to do something, and, but we couldn't, we couldn't know what we can do, right? And, um, and we, and we went to China to meet uh, mm. which, uh, uh, Li Ximo, and she said, oh, if you are doing something, we will join that because we would like to some um, very strong feminism art, but um, it's very hard in China to do that, but nobody has accepted that. And uh, she said she is one of the feminism, she's all critical, and uh, so she said, well, let's do something. So. <laughs> We just think of what can we do. I think we just do and well to the name, the title "Bored Girls." As I would just like uh, explain a little bit. It uh, sounds very strange. And actually, in Chinese, "Bored Girls" um, um, it's not just like "Bored Girls." It's a um, it's a very. It's actually, I thought I have played in my student time. Uh, a drama of a UNESCO. It's called, I don't know what's called, what it's in, in, China, in English, it's a Dikala Singer thing, a from UNESCO. And uh, I thought the book is Yeah, oh wow. Well, yes, and uh, because of the situation in China, you cannot see probably what is the, the, the situation in the Chinese women. Some of them are very emancipated in the cities and the, uh, in the uh, um, countryside, uh, they are very, very, um, uh, they still don't have uh, not to normal rights. So we just, Jin uh, and uh, I, and we thought maybe we have to choose a very special uh, title. So um, I thought, I thought, how do you think about uh, board girls? And she said, right, this is a good, funny thing because uh, the pronunciation of the Kalazina thing in Chinese, uh, you feel use another word, Chinese character, and it's uh, meaning board girls. So we thought that would be great idea. So so then in uh, 2012 you did your first um, exhibition. Yes. And uh, and did you did you then think that um, um, uh, after the exhibition we, we, you, you would have kept um, being together or did you initially think that the exhibition was probably like a bit of a uh, a try to see what was going to happen, what the reception in Beijing was, and not quite sure about uh, necessarily how it would have developed uh, afterwards. Well, uh, what we feeling did you have then in 2012 when you did the first um, we exhibition? We know uh, this was a challenge for us because uh, just, uh, a lot of people said, What? Board girls? What is that? You have to choose a nice name. Because board girls, this is actually this is, sounds not very nice. Because in Chinese, like, 
people they like beautiful uh, nature and a lot of Chinese uh, painting like. So they said this is sounds very strange. But we 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 just knew what were we did because we, we know everybody. Nobody likes it. And it's true. So we after the exhibition we have fighting in the internet with a lot of men and women, also from women, from the film, female artists. Why you do that stupid things? We are emancipated but nobody has to talk about the feminism. That's the time is over. Its problem of uh, the embargo is because in the in Europe, uh, in Western society, um, it's so not to the time of the feminism like in the 60s or 70s. Also. There were no big movement in the Chinese society. They said, "Why we do we need it? We have already it." But it's, this is not true. In fact. The Chinese women, especially in the countryside, even in the city, in the urban city, they still they have no rights. On the one side and the other side, a lot of women they have money, they are educated, they have a good job, but they are still thinking they are not so bad like the men. So it's really a big problem. Especially in nowadays, because in the 80s, we had oh, we have another problem. So we have a problem of uh, economic problems, a, a lot of other and different things. But now, um, still, um, the problem of the child and the woman um, was not a really um, actual problem in China. So I think um, some of few women like Li Xinguo or Xiao Lu, they recognize that's such a problem, but nobody speaks out. And Jane and I, we came out of China and the broad Chinese, overseas Chinese, and we said, we have to see, we have to cry, we see, well, we are friends, we have to do that. So that's um, happening. Um, so the, uh, the exhibition now on, the single mom's exhibition now on the Crown Museum um, uh, hosts a, a special uh, part of the exhibition with the works by Yang Zimi, Yi Simo and, and Xiao Wu. And, um, and, and that part of the exhibition is called Time Lag. Yeah. And uh, I'd like you to explain a little bit more what what did you mean by time lag, and uh, why do you think it's important to discuss that? Well, uh, first uh, I would uh, like to see uh, something after exhibition in Beijing. Actually, we had no idea what we are going to do mm -hmm. because um, the exhibition was successful, and there's a lot of people said, hmm? "Finished, you are disappeared." And it's just like anything else in China because you see something and it disappears. And uh, what we, for a particle founder, we said we have to go through, we have to, uh, it's, have to keep on, we have to do it every year. Otherwise, you cannot uh, um, really improve something, uh, really. And when uh, you do one thing in Germany, it is an Alma is Kaimar, as well, nothing. As a, so we have to, uh, we think we have to do every year. Otherwise, we have still have not a voice. And then last year, we did um, the second exhibition. And it called uh, a door. And so the first thing the name is just the word go onto the second year as a voice. Uh, the, uh, the door. The door is means the beginning, and uh, that uh, means also uh, the voice of the woman. 
but the watch, well, what uh, the nowadays time lag means actually what the phone with uh, uh, does is single mama. We are just a part of the single mama. So we said we are we between uh, we belongs to the single mama expression, but we are independent somehow. So we need a different name or title. So maybe Jenny can help me to explain time. Okay, um, so for instance, we say that our single moms, uh, this subject is really too far away for Chinese women because in China there's not the basic, the basic, you know, the basic rights is not there. And uh, even, even the couples, even you are married, you are not allowed to have so many children like you want. And if you are a single person, <laughs> of course you are not allowed to have a child. And this subject is really too far away for Chinese, uh, for, for our Chinese. And they said, um, I said, okay, we, um, maybe we have to struggle for 15 years or 70 years or 100 years to get, to get the time that we can talk about single moms. So there's a big, big time difference between Europe and between Germany and China. And this big lack of, of time, mm -hmm. Uh, we uh, in Chinese we just call it uh, um, in German Zeitverschiebungseffekt. It's actually a technical name for um, economics. Economics, uh, this means um, it's, it's, it's actually not a, a common word I think, in English, and many people do not know this word any, <laughs> uh, at all. It means um, the the time between the problem. And uh, um, the solution of the problem, and uh, uh, and it is another an, another meaning is that uh, this is like jet lag, the time different, and then we just use this double meaning. As uh, so the first, we have the problem, and I mean this solution of the problem, and this is the time lag, and another pr uh, meaning is that the time between uh, the, the different time uh, different time situation if, you know, between Germany and. China, this is double, double meaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, uh, shall we talk a bit more about uh, some of the works yes. um, of the exhibition? And um, um, uh, well, I would like to. Do we have any images of uh, uh, Xiao's pieces as well, or uh, which we? Do we have like the uh, Hei Hukou? Ah, uh, Okay, so when we set up an image for uh, one of the Xiaolu species uh, um, that, was, um, uh, that is still exhibited as single moms, um, we can talk about some um, briefly about the performances that we have seen. So I'll ask uh, uh, Lam to uh, briefly explain what is the meaning uh, of of um, the first uh, um, performance that we have seen uh, today. Uh, so if you want Lam to just uh, explain uh, what your performance uh, uh, means and where it's coming from. Um, the title of my performance is Who's Your Daddy? And um, uh, I think it's just quite easy to understand it because it's really it's a very delicate. As I think it's as the first performance, I want to show this um, very in a very direct way that you know that most of people can't understand it because in this exhibition I showed two pieces of words. The first word is is uh, the foreplay, the foreplay, mm -hmm. the um, how do you say foreplay and. The second, the second word is really the word what I want to say. So the first, you know, um, I criticize uh, that um, uh, the Chinese people uh, keep um, a lot, put a lot of value for the bloodline to keep the bloodline, but, but the bloodline can only be kept by the 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 masculine um, members of the family, and this is similar in Germany and Europe, but 
I'm really, really wondering that in the 70s or 70s, 60s, in the in Europe, the feminist uh, artists, nobody cared of this subject. You know, I really was very su surprised that uh, the people uh, struggled for the, um, for example, in Germany, you say "Liebe Studentinnen, Liebe Studenten." The um, the feminists have to struggle so much that they have to change a lot of um, habit in the language or in the daily life. But in this so so unfair subject that only the masculine members of the family can keep the bad line or the family name, and nobody cares about that. And in China, it's even much, much worse because the people put a lot of value on this subject. And um, many, many Chinese girls um, are killed when they're born or the um, 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 selective abortion. That means the Chinese women, when they get pregnant, they, they look at uh, the look if it's a girl and they, uh, they do it abortion on purpose. On purpose, because um, uh, they want to, uh, one family can only have one child if they only have uh, one girl, and it means for them it means the family name is is over and the bloodline is over. It's really, I think, it's really absurd. This thing is absurd that this bloodline is over when you only have a girl. And for this, I, I made um, this, uh, this uh, the artwork. Who's your daddy? To, sh to show, actually, if you really want to put so much value on this blood line, actually, it's the women's line. It's much sure than <laughs> the men line because you know you never know who's your father. Okay, <laughs> so you, <laughs> you can never be sure who's your father. And, uh, and Confucius was born before Christus. Uh, Christus. It's more than two thousand years already. It's how you can know that Confucius really is your essence. It's after two thousand years. Many things can happen in that during that time. I just want to make this subject very funny. To make it funny is really my purpose, and to make this abs uh, absurd, and to make it a uh, vulgar. How do you say vulgar? Vulgar. Yeah. And this is also my purpose. You know, if you someone said, "Oh, this really, this really something, this is absurd." You know, I, I do this really, it's on purpose to to make it very funny, very silly, yeah. and that's really my purpose. And I always said that if you can, you have seen this performance, you you have laughed enough. That means you have taken this this subject serious enough. You know, because this tradition is really to be laughed. And this is my purpose. The second purpose is that after you're laughing and you, can, you think about how can you change it, this is my second artwork, a modest proposal. The modest proposal I directly I mean is that I suppose the Chinese government to make a new, um, uh, a new law that a, a newborn a child, if they take the family name of the father or if they take the family name of the mother, should be decided by the dice. And I've produced uh, uh, 6,379 uh, dice, dice. And uh, three sides are papa, three sides mama, as I call it papa mama, papa mama wolf. Uh, baba mama dice, I call it. And uh, uh, so I uh, this is, uh, is uh, it is an uh, installation as like the first uh, first performance. It is a performance, but it's also an installation. So I will show this uh, this work later as an installation because performance I cannot repeat it again. But as an installation, I can show it everywhere again. And the second work is the same. It's also an action. It's um, it is in the same time. It's also an <coughs> installation. It, I, it is that um, uh, action because the people can can do um, together with me. So I have wrote an uh, instruction that how the how the how the visitors of the exhibition mm -hmm. can make this action together with me. Yeah. So they can take everyone who is support this idea can take a dice with with uh, with himself or themselves, and the letter that I wrote to the Chinese government. 
And uh, I really prepared everything. I prepared all the address. Um, uh, that if you don't know the, how how the address is, and can say you can uh, get it from the website. <laughs> I've done really for, uh, for several months for this uh, for this work prepared. And uh, I even prepared the envelope. You can take the envelope and can take the letter and the dice with yourself and uh, send to the address that I put on my website to the Chinese government. This you really a real name. So you, you, if you really do it, you can, this person who decided this family, uh, uh, this, who decided the family plan um, politic, this person can really get this letter. It's really sure uh, that we can get this letter. My hope is that if there are enough people do this action together with me, and one day there will be enough Chinese uh, politician, politicians can get this letter and get maybe if it, uh, um, find this idea good and uh, then we have a hope to change this situation that uh, this, uh, the main reason is that uh, this is the situation you cannot be uh, ignored anymore because there are more and more Chinese men and women so now uh, uh, this is the situation is so serious that so many young Chinese men have to buy a wife in Vietnam or Kampucha and uh, many um, people mention handen people mention handen um, mm -hmm. mention handen uh, uh, people dealing uh, uh, so uh, human dealing this is really Human dealing is always a very, very bad thing in our time, but now it's really the situation is so serious in China that uh, that we have to do something to change it. I think this many people ask me if the Chinese government will be um, uh, can, will um, censor the censor uh, the to be forbidding my artwork, this artwork. I said I don't think so because in China, this is really a serious problem. Even the Chinese government also want to change the situation. I just made this suggestion, and this suggestion is not against the policy. It is maybe it is uh, uh, it is. I take it right very seriously. I do it as an artwork, but on the other side. I take it very seriously as an activity. Well, um, this in the corner is just a, a little, um, a little part of Jeannie's um, installation with the with the dice that she was just uh, explaining. Now uh, there is also a big um, um, robe uh, which carries a, a character in the front, which is Jen, and in Chinese means uh, it used to be used uh, when um, you had to. Uh, and yeah, do a petition or um, an admonition uh, to the emperor. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's a very strong link as well to um, a, a Chinese historical um, tradition and, and background that goes back uh, to the imperial time. Um, um, so um, well, since we have um, a, a, a I'll ask you in a moment uh, um, about your performance, uh, but um, since we have the image now <laughs> and uh, uh, we haven't yet seen anything uh, by Xiaolu, um, I, I, I just want to um, say a couple of words about Xiaolu. She, she's a very um, uh, she, she's a very important uh, woman artist in uh, in the history of Chinese contemporary art, and we uh, uh, just just. 就是讲一下你就是就是以前的那个故事 um, So in case you don't know, uh, she's someone who you would easily find in the, in the history of uh, Chinese contemporary art because uh, uh, of her um, uh, installation and performing piece uh, in 1989 which as we know was a very very uh, politically and socially sensitive time uh, and year for, for China so in 1989, in February 1989, um, uh, the first big exhibition of avant-garde art uh, opened in, uh, in Beijing uh, at the National Art Gallery. And during the opening day, uh, Xia Lu had a piece in the, in the exhibition which is called Dialogue. 
and uh, represents uh, two people, a man and a woman, uh, inside two, um, two uh, phone boxes. Uh, and they have a, a phone in the middle, in between the two phone boxes, um, which um, um, receiver is just hanging down. So there's a clear um, message, which is a multi-message that we can read into about what dialogue means and what it meant in that specific, uh, uh, very sensitive uh, political time of 1989 in, in Beijing. So this is something else that we're not going to talk about uh, um, uh, today necessarily. But just to say, um, during the exhibition uh, opening, uh, that famous 1989 avant-garde uh, exhibition opening, uh, Xiao Lu um, uh, entered the exhibition space and uh, uh, shot to uh, shot two gun shots uh, to her own installation and, and left. Um, this was a very controversial act which can be interpreted in a, uh, many different ways. In any case, it, um, uh, it really made a mark, a, 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 an important mark uh, in the history of Chinese contemporary art. So I just want to say this to kind of um, understand um, a bit of like Xiao Lu's background as well, and um, and she's a, um, she she's the uh, the oldest uh, member uh, of the group as well, um, and that carries of course with her the experience of um, uh, starting making art in the 1980s in China, which is a very uh, important time for the development of Chinese contemporary art. Um, so having said this, Xiao um, um, uh, Lu in, in in this exhibition. Uh, she's showing uh, two video works, um, one is called um, uh, Wedding and the other one is called uh, Sperm, uh, which she did in uh, uh, recent years anyway. And, um, um, and then she's, uh, she's also presenting this other work, uh, which uh, uh, she had a bit of um, uh, uncertainty about how to call it, uh, but eventually uh, um, she decided to, to call it um, uh, Born Illegal. And, and this, is a, um, uh, um, this is a very um, unique situation to China, <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> um, but um, but I let Xiao Lu to explain a bit more uh, what, what this work, you know, these two uh, parts of the work, uh, means for her and how she came uh, to this. Um, just, just so to the, the, <laughs> because first uh, Shu Zhen asked me to join this uh, expression for the single mummy. Mm -hmm. I say it's, it's very hard to me because it's the first thing I'm not mother I, and second no single mother. No experience for the baby mm -hmm. and for the mother. So <laughs> it's hard to me. So I say okay, maybe try to do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just go to the internet and then um, put the word single mummy in the website. A lot of article from there. So this gave me the yeah, very impression for to the sociable the problem with the Chinese single mummy. And in the lot of the article just read about the single mummy because they in the China if you have baby you have to have the lessons. Otherwise you can't have the baby. Uh, for the single mummy, of course, you know the lessons for the... So in the China, have the name Hukou. This means no lessons for the born, maybe I think. means like this. So this was give me the very strong the, the feeling. So at that moment, <coughs> I do some ink painting on the felt. You know, Chinese, most of people, you do the ink painting on the rest of paper on the field. Mm -hmm. Also, I feel the field is the very special the material in sand. And um, so use this material with the read a lot of article and uh, gave me the feeling then when they are sick, maybe put some words just straight on the field. Use the Chinese words and with the Chinese ink and it has some traditional the background. Yeah, just so, so I'm just the uh, inspiration from here. Yeah.
mm -hmm. one day. And so I um, just used uh, some words. This word means, uh, you know, when twice I see the kill the, the girl baby, the most of China, they don't like the girl, it's only have the one child. Only so most of the people, if have the pregnant, if they see the girl, also maybe both girls kill them, don't want to kill them because they like the boy. So girl in the China situation sometimes from the boys care. Mm -hmm. So, so, so yeah, in these two pieces, um, it's not very clear on, on that one, but so it's written like Pei Huko, which means basically legal license for the newborn, and that's what you need to have to give uh, identity uh, to anybody in China. You need to have something that they call license or like Huko. And, um, and, and so when you don't have that license, your, your child is nobody. I mean, you can still raise your child, but you won't have a legal identity and you won't have any rights basically within, within, within the country. So it's, it's, it's a very, very important uh, um, you know, problem in China. Um, and uh, and in the other one, um, Shao is addressing the, um, the, the female infanticide, which is uh, unfortunately still quite widely practiced in, uh, in, uh, in China. So you know we, we get an, uh, a clear image here of you know, some of the uh, important messages that are coming through um, uh, the art that we have seen now from from Jimmy to uh, Xiaolu. Uh, maybe if we have time later, we can talk a bit more about some of the videos and maybe uh, also show show some of the videos. Okay. Um, um, but uh, I I just pass on to um, uh, Li Ximo and and and. Um, Ask her to uh, explain or um, explain a bit more. She, Lissimo had a few pieces actually in the exhibition. So besides the performance that we have seen, uh, she also had um, 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 a work called Double Vision, uh, which is kind of visible in the in the. Um, um, we don't have an image. I'm not sure. Um, so she had another uh, work called Double Vision. Um, in which she's merging uh, some pictures of herself, yeah, of, 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 some pictures of herself, and, and some drawings made by her son, um, and uh, uh, and then in a, in a separate room she had uh, many uh, paintings that she did, uh, uh, mainly using her menstrual blood uh, or using um, um, uh, tea tea water. Um, Li Ximo also intervened um, in the space of the exhibition by uh, writing uh, some um, created Chinese calligraphy on the floor, uh, where she um, um, and uh, uh, and what is really interesting about those characters that you yes. see oh, just stop, there. Stop, 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 stop. So this is the word double vision that um, uh, um, you can just how it's out to the high school. Okay, everything in English, great, even better for me. <laughs> um, uh, but um, do, do you want to explain uh, the characters on uh, uh, okay, so she's going to explain just briefly about this double vision work, which is a, uh, a very interesting. Shall I make the point that uh, uh, um, Lisi Mo is actually uh, is a single mom, mm -hmm. and, um, and so she's bringing him in this exhibition loads of her personal biography and um, uh, and this comes through uh, loads of her work and, and comes through also um, the performance. So I just want to make a point, there's a strong uh, personal engagement uh, with this topic on, 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 on her side as well. Um, so okay, just uh, <laughs> can explain a bit more about, uh, about this then. Um, Thank you everyone, but uh, my uh, speaking is not very good. Uh, first, uh, <laughs> uh, only uh, um, ex uh, explain my uh, works in simple English. I'm sorry. Uh, this work, uh, so, um, uh, I did this work uh, um, 
um, by my son and I. Mm, first, uh, I uh, took photograph um, mm, uh, photo my my body. Yes. Um, then the I my son draw painting on the picture. Um, so we finished the work uh, with Kyla. Uh, I found, uh, found uh, it's very uh, two different ones between us. Um, I am interested uh, in my body, but my uh, son's world are so many guns um, and uh, weapons <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> about the war. Uh, uh, I am very um, I think it's very different. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, one uh, way, a uh, girl and a uh, boy. Uh, mm, when they uh, come, come, come to, uh, when they born in the world, uh, the they there would uh, depart. Uh, yes, uh, depart to to world. world. Mm. I only ex <laughs> yeah. Ex um, d do you want to talk about a bit about your performance as well? Yeah, um, my performance because the title of the exhibition is Single Mother. Uh, um, I, I'm a single mother. I think. Uh, um, so I um, <coughs> don't uh, need material. Don't need uh, uh, on the on the vibe. <laughs> Uh, I my work, uh, um, all work, uh, come from my exhibition, my feeling, it's very true. Um, and uh, I found uh, so many single mother in in China. Uh, uh, I, my feeling just their feeling, I think. Um, so the the performance um, first I asked uh, um, some man. Uh, I asked him, uh, do you want to kill me? Uh, but uh, everyone said no. I, uh, I answered, but, uh, but I want. So I uh, cut my, uh, my body, my, my coat with, with a knife. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I, it's my uh, true uh, experience, um, uh, my feeling. Um, uh, because if if you are a single mother, uh, I feel mm, in the world uh, everywhere, the hurt everywhere. <laughs> um, no, no, no one can understand you. Uh, they uh, will decide the the woman is a bad woman, not a good woman. Yeah, and uh, I, I I no 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 Chinese man. Uh, can uh, marry with me <laughs> because I'm a single mother. They can't. Uh, um, um, uh, so I think it's um, uh, then I uh, cut uh, open, uh, stole my 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 coat, and uh, to made uh, a baby. Just uh, I and uh, just my son and I. I um, uh, live in <laughs> in the world. Uh, many times I feel it's very very difficult. Yes, because no one help you. You you you, you no one help me. Only do everything. Um, take take good care of your child. To go to work. Um, yes, every day. Um, it's a, it's a, a true feeling. Um, I have no anything, only the baby <coughs> under my body. <laughs> Thank you, Harry. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Simon. Um, <coughs> so, uh, I mean, uh, as you see, um, there are many, um, many themes and subjects that come up from, from these works uh, that are not only related to China and that can relate to um, transnationally to any other uh, country in the world, besides the fact that some of them are peculiarly uh, Chinese, um, as we've seen, for instance, with the instance of the the hukou, the license uh, uh, that everybody, the certificate that everybody needs to have in order to uh, to be recognized as a proper human being. 
Um, but so there are lots of themes that, that run through um, uh, these artworks and, and become very relevant. Uh, and in, in, especially in the context of uh, the Single Moms exhibition, where, which was very international and very transcultural, uh, these things really created a dialogue with many of the other works uh, that were in that exhibition, um, which, is, uh, which is great um, to, to see. Um, so, um, I don't know how we're doing with time, I don't know, how do you want to do, um, do you want to uh, ask if anybody has a question, or shall I just keep on, uh, well, or do you have anything you would like mm, to I think ask? we can ask the uh, uh, audience if they have a question, what I would like to explain a little bit, um, she has this time three work, artworks at, at the exhibition. One of the uh, we have seen this uh, is uh, uh, double vision. Another one is the uh, wall painting. Mm -hmm. Can we go a little bit back? Yeah. Actually, it counts like one, two, three, four. Um, <laughs> well, um, the artist Li Xingmo is a great artist. She has deep thinking and she can draw it well, well. And, uh, um, what I'm going to like to see is where a uh, board girl will have uh, some somehow um, corporate identity called in the business mm -hmm. world. Uh, the first mm -hmm. time she joined the board girl, the three board girls uh, at the contemporary art in Beijing, uh, Iberia. Uh, so it, uh, Great work, and you can see uh, at the invitation. And this one, we keep this color. Well, yes. And this is. Uh, um, the artwork two years ago uh, from her and what we have seen before um, this time is the new work so I think we are going to keep our style next time every time we do a lot of different new we try to do new works and but we keep the wall painting well, like differently, you know, between mm -hmm. what is the purpose. So that's uh, what I, what is the why I would like to explain. Well, do you uh, want to say anything about the colors as well? Well, yes. <laughs> as part of your, as part of um, your branding. Magenta. How do you say in English? Magenta? Magenta. Magenta uh, is actually mm -hmm. um, a very special color and uh, um, for a lot of people it's um, a very kitsch color and uh, uh, most of the people think it's also a color for women with a lot of education. Well, this is um, and just, uh, and we, what we are, would like to uh, show is uh, we are women so we we don't uh, ignore, uh, ignore so we are women, so that's, uh, we uh, say we are just board girl, but we still care about a lot of big things like pollution, like discrimination, and uh, because a lot of the Chinese men critics say, well, I think you are still like the most women, you still use a very, um, Kitsch color, why do that if you do black and white and you look very seriously, you know? You will be, you will be taken, taken seriously. I said, so, does that matter? We are a uh, particle with just uh, tissue, we are female, but it's female means not just uh, we are just uh, uh, have a narrow mind, so we just, uh, uh, just take care of the house, a woman, an emotional um, relationship, um, well, that's um, as we chose uh, the very collective 
magenta. Yeah. So there are, uh, 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 we can see that there are lots of uh, controversial aspects in, uh, in the board girls from the name, uh, the reasons why they got together, uh, the family stand that they, uh, they carry uh, on in, in, in their work. And I also, um, as I would like to add on my side, uh, they are particularly important to um, uh, when we look at the history of Chinese contemporary art because we did not have a women only art group since the 1990s and that wasn't a particularly successful one so uh, being a women's um, uh, art group uh, women artist group in China uh, is, is a very rare and difficult thing to do um, and, and they are really signing and marking an important point I think in, in, uh, in uh, uh, Chinese contemporary society and Chinese art uh, by being together and doing what they're doing within China uh, together with other networks of artists, uh, other networks of activists, of feminist activists in, in China uh, and abroad. This is the first time that they are uh, exhibiting together abroad. Uh, but you know, I just want to um, raise the point of, of the importance of their existence and, and, and what they are doing is, 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 is pretty incredible. So I uh, just wanted to say that <laughs> on my side. Um, so, um, um, uh, do we want to uh, um, maybe um, just see uh, something from like Xiao Lu's video because we haven't talked um, uh, much about um, about that, or uh, shall we keep it for a bit later? We take a few questions. Well, from, I uh, would like to hear. Some yeah, if you <laughs> yeah, so if you have any questions yeah. or uh, to. Any of uh, the artists or myself, uh, just <laughs> um, if you don't uh, speak English, you can see in German. We understand, and we can translate it. We also we do Chinese, Italian, yeah. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Wider languages. <laughs> yeah. so, so every artist is with with their own installations or artworks. But uh, who did the murals? Is it a collaboration in the work, in the works of the board girls we've um, seen in the uh, exhibition? Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the the mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so is so, there really a piece of art they share together? Mm -hmm. Or is it more the separate lives of the separate artists and is it only a collaboration mm -hmm. or will there be something like a piece of art made together by mm -hmm. um, the three. Yeah. We always wanted, but till now we only separate, we only have our own work, but uh, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. one day we want to make artwork together. Mm -hmm. But you know, no. uh, we uh, actually, uh, the, the first time mm -hmm. we don't have title, we just called um, Board Girls. Mm -hmm. And last year we had um, the title of Door. And so we just have purpose, what we have to do. So they try to uh, work on the purpose. Um, this time we have a single armor, and so this is clear. Uh, you have to just arrange how, what in life the single mama or something like that. Well, this uh, exhibition in, at the uh, Frau Museum, mm -hmm. uh, so we just concept like that. Lishi Moore, uh, she is a person that a uh, single mom, so she is uh, she take the, take part of the individual emotional relationship mm -hmm, between single mama and uh, child. Well, and uh, so uh, she yeah she present also for all the uh, artists of the other war painting, um, just like title, you know, it's a, a, a board girl, a board girl, single mama, board girl, blah, blah, let's go on. And, and uh, uh, Jenny Nan, um, she's living uh, abroad, as overseas, so she has a really a clear remember about Chinese tradition, and she goes on. Um, 
another piece as a, just like a, China, a fight of Chinese tradition, like Confucius thinking way. And uh, Xiao Lu, she's living in China, and she reflects about uh, the um, sensitive political problems, and like killing babies or Hui uh, Hukong, a born illegal also sometimes. So we put it together, and uh, that is all the conception. We try to a multi a multi uh, lay to show the title the, the theme single mama in video in painting in performance uh, and so on since the nation. Uh, can I ask something? They did actually something together the very first time that actually shaved their hands yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So exactly. that's 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 the first so in the first the first time that had the exhibition yeah. at the um I uh, at the Ibiza <laughs> Center, um, and the first so the actual first performance they did together was collaborative and was all together. Um, but then after that, uh, they kind of worked individually. Um, but uh, I'm sure they're planning Is something. The first thing. <laughs> Uh, now only only Jimmy like So that was like a sort of a, a almost a ritual uh, for like bonding the, the, the three of them together as like the founding members of the Bulgars uh, through the shaving of their head, uh, which that. has lots of uh, meanings. Um, uh, so yeah. Thank you. Uh, any other questions uh, in any language? <laughs> 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 um, we could we could have a brief look at um, um, if you want uh, 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 the wedding the wedding the wedlock. Sorry, I, I, I think I called it wedding, which is wrong. It's yeah, wedding yeah, yeah. actually. <laughs> The music is quite loud yeah. um, at this point. <laughs>
Well, to the, uh, this artwork um, um, two years ago or just three years ago almost, uh, I tried to contract her. I said, Oh, we are going to do a feminist um, exhibition. You have done a very feministic uh, performance. She said, Well, really? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I really. Um, uh, and that's what I'm going to see is. Um, uh, she, at that time, she was she didn't recognize what she has done. She has feminism in herself, but she, she not she was she not recognized that she ever was feminism. So nowadays, <laughs> she would see. Oh yeah, right. She is really a feminist. She, her work was a feminist artwork. It's changed. It's changed. Work has changed her mind <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and as a parallel in history, there was the Queen of England, yeah. uh, which was Elizabeth I. She married England instead of her husband. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what is really interesting as well, looking at this work, which was done before um, before the, the, the Bulgars got together, yeah. uh, there's that touch of like uh, the absurdity uh, of certain realities and uh, and the irony as well yeah. behind it, and that kind of uh, attitude towards life, uh, despite uh, you know despite what life gave you. <laughs> Um, or what you encountered, you know, sufferings and difficulties, solitude, um, uh, that, that, you know, so in other words has, has addressed as well. Um, there is that, that uh, ironic attitude as well um, in Mandini we, we've seen as well, um, which, is, um, which is a very particular and sometimes not very well understood way of interpreting uh, very difficult, complicated, and uh, and uh, sad realities sometimes. So, um, uh, is there any other questions uh, around um, that? Please, uh, um, I explain a little bit to Xiaolu's work. You know, mm -hmm. it's a very common situation for the Chinese women if they are too strong, too famous. In her mm -hmm. case, it's very difficult for them to to find the right mind. The most men, you know, they only want to have the women is lower and it's a bit stupid, it's better. <laughs> and the women like the she, like the Xiao Lucy Mod, it's very difficult for them to find, really find a good man. <laughs> if, if a woman today marries in China, today she's wearing a white gown, but in the tradition of China, white was a, was a completely different color because it was a color of sadness if you are mourning. And does the time changed in the 25 years. Is it now it's popular to marry in white? And now it's even in the Western style. But if you see yourself doing this 25 years ago, would this would happen? Did you know my what I mean? Uh, 
I just remember my mommy and daddy married. They didn't wear any dress, just the normal dress. Normal dress. Yeah, just normal. Mm -hmm. dress. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, in cultural revolution in China, no special clothes, just the normal. Mm -hmm. No marriage clothes, no traditional marriage clothes. They all the just the normal, mm -hmm. serious clothes. So this is just the uh, conditioner is having some the wedding clothes, have some. Mm -hmm. So new fashion. New but, fashion. But if you want to put it together with uh, Simo's performance where she's wearing white as well, <laughs> it's very much about death and about mourning and about uh, um, uh, you know and 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 Selma's arri arrives in a coffin as well. <laughs> so I think you know your interpretation is is is. Definitely something that adds, you know, um, as a super sense. Uh, yeah, adds like a, a different layer of uh, of meaning, I think, to 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 Shelby's performance as, uh, uh, you know, abandoning a life uh, for a new one, or yes. for some women even means like, a, uh, you know, a social death uh, or other kind of death as well, like uh, getting in a wedlock. Um, so. Um, so I think you know it's definitely a valuable way to uh, to to look at it. Yeah. Any other questions or? Um, yeah. Uh, I have a question, um, but I want to ask her: Can I, can I speak um, in German or in Chinese? Yeah, but okay. You speak any language. <laughs> um, so I just want to speak. Um, first in Chinese. Uh, oh, I have a question. I want to ask you, Shang Wu Mr. You were in the 80s and 90s, and you were a very famous artist. And you were in the show of the show of the show of the show. And I want to ask you, you were interested in some women's questions. For example, the hate-book or the hate-book. 杀死女婴，但是就是因为随着世界就是中国的不断的发展，然后这些女性主义的问题有一些变化，那您现在更多关注的是什么？因为就比如说像杀死女婴，还有黑户黑户口这些问题，有也得到一些很大的改善。但现
and maybe next time for the countryside woman. So every time I have the topic, I have to use my eyes, see this topic, and join this topic. So this gave me the chance to think about every different kind of the feminine problem in China. You do, uh, just like the lady say, um, I'm care about what kind of things. So maybe um, now, yeah, sometimes I care about the uh, the feminine things, uh, uh, something like the um, what is feminism? Because for me, I'm just start this topic. This true uh, for the 2012. Because so why I did the work? What is feminism? Because for me, this is a new topic for me. So I use this topic to start this kind of work. Ask me, also ask the people. So um, let me start deeply understand this topic. So, so maybe I'm just follow the bundle and see the, what happened for me, the work is going on. I think this is for me, for the nature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <笑>你听懂了吗 就是不仅是为了自己的艺术作品，然后有希望他在整个中国的社会带来一些其他的一些影响吗？嗯，啊，我觉得现在只要去做，因为这个在艺术，其实在中国女性主义艺术这个领域还是非常空白的。我觉得
Also es ist natürlich, wir drücken uns politisch aus, aber in Form von Kunst und als Kunst als Medium, also nicht so nur, natürlich das ist es auch, geht uns persönliche Empfindung und persönliche Betroffenheit, wie bei Single Mamas, selbst wenn man selbst nicht äh, ähm, Single Mamas, da ist man auch betroffen. Insofern, ähm, die Frage ist, die Board Goes ist dafür da, dass wir die Gesellschaft verändern ihn. Also wir hoffen, dass es so irgendwie verändern, aber das ist, ob wir verändern, natürlich ist es auch nicht klar, aber das ist unser Ziel. So, uh, would you like to add also, um, which I think is really interesting, that uh, uh, not only using art to raise awareness and to um, even pinpoint some of the big problems that are related to more women, especially in this case, but also to propose some sort of solutions, as we've seen uh, in, uh, um, in uh, you know, Jenny's proposing a solution. Um, and uh, uh, Simon as well, um, in the, uh, if you want to talk a bit about the, the characters, um, that she wrote uh, on the on the floor and suggesting so there are new suggestions for like a better way to deal with these problems in society, which is also yeah. um, um, you know a, a very positive side of of uh, uh, being together and doing art together. Um, uh, ich weiß nicht, ob Sie um, alle also gestern bei der Vernissage dabei waren und vielleicht haben Sie nicht gerade gemerkt also der Boden in dem Raum, in dem Wortraum, auch eine Arbeit ist. Also das ist so beschriftet. Das ist die Arbeit von äh, Shimo. Das nennt man, nennt sie Frau. Vor zwei Jahren, also äh, in Peking, in Iberia, zeitgenössische Kunstcenter, hat sie auch eine Arbeit gemacht. Sie hat äh, im Chinesischen ähm, gibt es ungefähr 200 Zeichen, also mh, die, also ein Bestandteil, also ein also China, chinesische Zeichen besteht oft aus dem zwei Bestandteile. Der eine Teil hat oft eine phonetische Funktion, der andere Teil hat also eine also Bedeutung. Und diese Frau also hat äh, alle Zeichen mit Frauen. Hat, haben wir festgestellt, hat die Frau, äh, hat die Chimo festgestellt, haben sie negativ besetzt. Und das ist so wie dämlich und blöd und äh, ähm, verführerisch und alles so und so möglich, alles negativ besetzt. Das Intrige. hat Intrigen. Intrigen und blöd, also alles mögliche. Also bis, ja. <lacht> bis auf Antwort. <lacht> Uh, uh, gut, gut besteht aus zwei Teilen. Das eine Teil heißt, das ist Frau, die andere Teil heißt ein Sohn. Also, wenn eine Frau Sohn hat, dann ist sie dann gut. Also, <lacht> und diesmal hat äh, die Chimo ihre Arbeit erweitert, und in Form, dass sie sagt: Also, wir haben natürlich die Fragestellung gestellt, aber wir würden jetzt versuchen, eine Antwort zu geben. Diesmal hatte sie auf dem Boden auch die, alle Schriftzeichen ausgesucht, die ähm, positiv äh, besetzt. Vor allem die hat er erfunden. Also die gibt es noch nicht. Die aber mit positiven Ze Zeichen, mit positiven Sinnen, aber mit Frau teil. Also, also von daher, das ist so auch ein. Wir hoffen, dass vielleicht in 5 oder 10 oder 20 Jahren die würden wirklich benutzt. Und, aber jetzt ist es nur noch Kunst. Aber auf Deutsch gibt es auch was zu ändern. Zum Beispiel dämlich und herrlich. Ja, das finde ich auch total blöd. Das muss auch geändert werden. Das ist gut. Okay, abgemacht. Das musst du lassen. Das musst du lassen. I think I missed some of the German uh, in the world before. Oh, no, did you, uh, this time I asked, yeah. uh, did you talk already about uh, uh, what you're going to do in the future? Or did you say not about yet? Not yet. So that I was so in yeah. German. Uh, well, um, yeah, we are having it, uh, uh, we have eigentlich vor, jedes Jahr eine Ausstellung zu machen, vor allem in China. China brauchen uns. Also wir sind die chinesische feministische Gruppe Erste und von daher China ist unsere Headquarter. 
also unsere Basis. Deswegen würden wir auf jeden Fall in China eine Ausstellung machen, aber wir gehen auch aus, also wir treten in Dialog mit anderen Künstlern, anderen Kulturen, transkulturelle Künstler und vor allem, also ich habe vor, ein Monat, zwei Wochen eine Ausstellung, eine Rede gehalten von einer schwedischen Künstlerin. Sie hatte auch das Thematik, also Single Mama und Killing Baby, also Killing Female Babies als Thema genommen. Also was wir wollen, also wir wollten auch in dem Ausland mit den anderen Künstlern zusammenarbeiten. Wir haben jetzt vor im Juli in Bogota mit südamerikanischen Künstlerinnen zusammenarbeiten und eine Ausstellung machen, in, vor allem in Form von Performance, Video und also ähm, sehr äh, live äh, zu machen. Und was wir jetzt auch noch vorhaben, in, ist im Oktober wollten wir was Außergewöhnliches machen und zwar ähm, zeitgenössische Kunst ist sehr, sehr äh, urban, also das ist sehr elitär. Also die meisten haben auch Leute hier, die würden auch nicht verstehen. Und, aber wir haben gesagt, in China ist es noch extrem. Das Problem, also das Recht, ist eben also natürlich in der Stadt auch, aber vor allem die Frauen auf dem Land. Und deswegen wollten wir jetzt mit Bäuerinnen eine Aktion machen in China und Aufklärung, was ist Feminismus, was ist, also Feminismus ist, also je nachdem, wie man ihn interpretiert, aber eigentlich, dass wir sie aufrüttern und zu sagen, sie haben Recht. Also zuvor, also ein Beispiel, ein, eine Gruppe von Bäuerinnen, die machen eine Protestaktion, die kriegen die Bäuerinnen, die kriegen keine Entschädigung vom Staat. Warum? Die, der, der örtliche Regierung sagt, also du kriegst dein Geld von deinem ursprünglichen Zuhause, dem Elternhaus. Und aber der, der Ort, wo die, wo die Frau geboren ist, sagt, nein, nein, du gehörst gar nicht mehr zu uns, du bist verheiratet, du, gehörst, du kriegst Geld vom Mann, aber die Frauen kriegen nirgendwo ihre Entschädigung. Das ist offensichtlich eine Diskriminierung. Also die gehen auf die Straße und wir gehen äh, mit Aktivisten in China Hand in Hand. Äh, wir wollten nicht nur im Museum bleiben, wir wollten also über die Grenze im Museum ausgehen und äh, die Kunst als Social Plastic machen. Also da, natürlich Sie sind alle herzlich willkommen mitzumachen, auch nach China ja, zu <lacht> Okay, so we, we have seen how the Bulgars came together, what they mean, um, what their presence means now in, in contemporary uh, China, but also in a more transnational environment as Jini uh, uh, and Sujana are based here in Germany, and so they give uh, more of that international and, uh, understanding, not only of uh, the issues that are related to Chinese contemporary society and women, but also to how we create how we can create a dialogue with other similar problems that uh, women are facing in uh, other parts of the world, such as Germany, for instance, um, or other parts of Europe. Um, so, um, well, if, I don't know if we don't have any, any further questions. I, uh, I'm just, uh, I would like to thank Sue Jen for having invited me to uh, um, to come to uh, to see single moms and and uh, to the opening of the exhibition, it was a great pleasure to to be here for the first time in Europe to see the the um, to see the bull girls and to have the chance to see their work uh, in Europe. Mm -hmm. I think is a great opportunity for for uh, for all of us. So um, just would like to thank you. And um, thank, of course, uh, Simone, Dini, and and uh, uh, Saul, so, um, and uh, uh, I will keep on um, following your work and and see uh, you know how it's going to develop. So on my side, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Monica. <laughs> thank you for coming. And we have enjoyed very much working with you together. Um, by the way. Uh, Board Girl is a group, artist group, but we are open-minded. Um, 
oh well, all the Chinese artists that can join us, <laughs> and the other not Chinese girls, they could join us too if you want. <laughs> so that's um, okay. That's, that's, a, my, that's a good my, point. My, word my point. My statement. <laughs> not the girls, also boys. Oh, well, <laughs> Changed them. <laughs> 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 <laughs>